Cancer begins with a single cell that divides and multiplies uncontrollably. Today, there are over 200 different types of cancer, each requiring a unique approach for prevention, diagnosis, and treatment. While there have been major advances in the treatment of cancer, traditional forms of treatment, such as surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation, can cause severe long-term side effects for patients by damaging healthy cells, increasing the risk for heart problems, and weakening the immune system, our body's most important line of defense. However, scientists have studied the immune system for decades with the belief that new therapies that take advantage of our natural defense system might be identified. One of the most important cells of our immune system, called T-cells, have the ability to identify and eliminate cancer. This is called immune surveillance. But under normal circumstances, cancer cells can quickly change the way they look and behave to escape T-cells, remaining undetected. So, what if we could enhance T-cell ability to eliminate cancer even after it's escaped immune surveillance? Researchers at Princess Margaret Cancer Center are moving beyond chemotherapy by developing, evaluating, and making available new therapies that go beyond the harmful side effects of traditional cancer treatments. They believe that the key to finding a successful and targeted treatment for cancer lies within developing effective immunotherapies, a type of cancer treatment designed to leverage our immune system's potential to fight cancer. In particular, one highly personalized form of immunotherapy, known as CAR T-cell therapy, has proven to be effective in treating blood-borne cancers by enhancing a patient's own T-cells to effectively target cancer. The process of CAR T-cell therapy begins by collecting T-cells from the patient's blood. In the lab, these T-cells are genetically modified to create an artificial receptor on its surface called a chimeric antigen receptor. Cells that produce chimeric antigen receptors are known as CAR T-cells and are multiplied in large quantities before being put back into the patient's body. Inside the body, CAR T cells travel in the bloodstream to sites of cancer. When they come in contact with a cancer cell, the chimeric antigen receptor is programmed to bind to a molecule found only on cancer cells, called CD19. This binding activates CAR T cells to recognize and eliminate cancer cells through normal mechanisms of cell death. However, different types of cancer cells can produce different molecules on its surface, and this poses a challenge for CAR T cells. For example, CD19 is expressed on the surface of lymphoma and leukemia cells, which allows them to be easily recognized and destroyed by CAR T cells. But there are many other molecular targets expressed on cancer cells that CAR T cells currently cannot recognize. Additionally, while CAR T cells have shown to be effective in treating patients with lymphoma, different cancers may have different mechanisms that can cause the treatment to be ineffective. So how can we improve the therapy process so that CAR T cells can be effective for every patient? To achieve this, researchers are currently working on expanding CAR T cell therapy as a platform of treatment by combining multiple treatments and technologies. They're currently evaluating new ways to engineer CAR T cells that can recognize different molecular targets expressed on other types of cancer cells. As well, they're evaluating the effectiveness of CAR T cell therapy when used in combination with other treatments. Scientists believe that this platform of treatment holds great potential to provide a more personalized approach to cancer therapy, one that ultimately improves outcomes in patients where traditional treatments have failed, while also reducing the number of side effects associated with cancer therapy. Research into CAR T cell therapy is advancing at a rapid pace. With improvements in targeted treatment design and increased participation in clinical trials, CAR T cell therapy and novel immunotherapies have the potential to revolutionize cancer therapy by providing tailored treatment to each patient's unique form of cancer.